In this video, we're going to look at how to make a basic synth on the Empress Effects Zoya. I'm not going to go into anything too complex, but I just want to show you how to set up a little keyboard from the button grid and a little sequencer. If this looks at all confusing, just feel free to look at the links in the description below and watch the more basic video so you can get a better understanding at the basics. We have an audio in module and an audio out module. First thing we're going to do, we're just going to add an oscillator. So I'm just going to press here. We're going to choose audio modules and oscillator. We can change the settings, but for now we're just going to leave it as a sine wave. So an oscillator is the sound generator. It's actually playing a constant tone. We can see that by pressing the side of it. If we go to this one, we can see the frequency. So if we press this knob down, it's actually a note. So it's A0 right now. What I want to do now is add a VCA, it's called. A VCA is more or less just the volume. So I'm just gonna choose VCA and we'll leave it with the settings that it has. So I want the output from the oscillator to go to the in of the VCA, which is this one. The middle setting is just the volume. We're gonna leave that all the way off for now. And then there's the output. So what I wanna do is add a cutoff filter. So I'm gonna press here and we're gonna choose audio modules and then SV filter. So I'm gonna have the VCA out going into the in of the filter. So that's wired in now. And then we have the frequency and the resonance and then it's output. So from there, I want to add a reverb. We're gonna do reverb light, and we'll just go with the default settings. So that's gonna go out to the reverb in right here. And then we have other settings, like the decay time, we'll just bring it up a little. And the mix, we'll bring that up just a little bit too. And we want the reverb out to go to our audio output so we can actually hear it. So it's all wired in now, but Pretty much the VCA is all the way off. Bring this up to like maybe a C4. We don't hear anything, but it's we can see it going into the filter here. So next thing, we're just gonna have to turn up the filter frequency. And there is our tone. I'm gonna turn this all the way back down now. So from here, I'm gonna make a keyboard. I want it to be kind of big so we can just look at all the notes. So we're gonna go to another page here. We're gonna add an interface module and a keyboard. And then we'll have number of notes. Let's just turn it all the way up here. Let's bring it right about here. And then we'll have to go done. And now it's all set up. Right here we have all these notes and you can see every note goes up. And every time we press this, we see this go off and this go off. So this is called the gate. So we can see again, we press something and it lights up that button. This is called the trigger out. And then this is the note out. So what I wanna do is have the note out and then we're gonna go back one page and you're gonna see it turn yellow. That way we know we're dragging that from that output and we want that to go right in to the oscillator frequency right here. So now it's wired in. Again, we have note out. Next we have gate out. So I want that to go into the VCA, which is right here. That's the middle part right here. It's like the volume. So in other words, when I press something down, it's going to turn on the volume. But actually, before we do that, I think I'm going to add, it's called ADSR, Attack, Decay, Sustain, Release. It's like a ramp. And I'm going to add that down here. And what I want to do is route that gate out. We're gonna go back here and that gate out, I want it to go to the ADSR input. And then this is attack, decay, sustain, release. And we can change any of those values. And then this output, I want that to go to the VCA and I want it to affect the filter. Okay, so let's see if this works. Okay, so it works just fine. So now we have a keyboard, but now let's just add a sequencer. So I'm going into here, choosing sequencer. Let's make that about eight steps. So each one of these is a step, and I can program a note into each step. But we need something to set a time so that it switches. So this right here is the time or the gate in. So what I have to do is create some kind of a clock. 
I'm not going to use my MIDI clock. We're just going to create an LFO, and that's just a slow wave. We chose a square wave, so every time that that lights up, we're going to send it to the time or the gate in. So now we can see it progressing through each of these. So what I also want to do, I want this to also trigger the ADSR. So I'm going to hold this down and then it's going to trigger ADSR. So now we can hear the sequence is actually playing. We can make it go faster by changing the frequency of that LFO. How about let's turn down the attack. So I want the sequencer values to go into the pitch of the oscillator. And then we can start programming notes in. And we'll turn up the LFO. 